Hey gang, bangers here again. Today's project, the mower deck. So this is off a of John Deere X300, it's an 18 and a half horsepower Kawasaki motor. Uh, excellent mower, uh, as you'd understand, you can't beat the John Deere's. However, uh, this is a rural property and I throw stones and sticks and all sorts of things with this thing. Uh, it, it's not the de it's not the manufacturing. It's I'm using it at the very maximum of its capability, right? O almost all the time. So it's not just doing lawn, right? It's doing all this it's wild. It's, got, it's getting into it, okay? So, however, this deck is, it's a press steel deck. Now I've repaired this like a million times, but the problem today is that it keeps throwing the belt, or it's throwing the belt now again. And I know what the problem is. It's this belt guard. The, this one had broke previously and I repaired it and strengthened it. Now this one's lost its bolt, so that belt guard is allowing, you can get a stick to come through or something happens or it just gets a little, it's a little uh, shudder in the belt and the belt pops right off where the pulley is. So we're going to address that today. And also, uh, last time I had this off, I was shutting the blades and I was, I was touching up a few things over the welding. I noticed that the pulley drives was starting to flog out just over time. The hexagonal uh, thing in there that the, the, that uh, that that mounts on, uh, they were flogging out. So I got, I got ordered two of those and picked them, picked them up like months ago. But here we are. We've got an opportunity. We've got the deck off again. I wasn't going to do it just to take the deck off. So we've got an opportunity to. Uh, so we've got an opportunity to replace those two today. Part number on here is UC two six five double one. If anyone cares. Uh, we'll crack on because we've got to get the mowing done. So you can see here, I've taken the deck out of the mower and put up on the bench to make it easier to work on. You can see some of the previous repairs here. This whole thing had started to rust out. You know, this is the previous repair on this. There's that guard in there. There's that uh, belt that belt guard in there that keeps the belt on the pulley. Now this one's thrown its bolt, right? I'm pretty sure these are an M8, but we'll check that. Uh, and we'll get these uh, pulleys off. We'll rattle these pulleys off. First of all, we'll get this we'll get this belt off and what have you. And the way we do that is to loosen this up at the back here. So we need something more like 16, no, 15. 15. No, not that great. For the price that it would cost to replace this bearing in this pulley, because you can't just, all well, these you can't, it's captive. You can't just press this out. We'll just get a bit of, just get a bit of something going in there. Oh yeah. Better already. Better already. Yeah, beautiful. I'll inspect this belt every now and then. I keep a spare belt, but pretty much I just run them right till the ragged end till they wear through. They sweep that belt's fine. We'll put that back on in a minute. We'll rip this guard off here. Yep, yeah, yeah. beautiful. What did I say? 22. 21. 22. There we go. Deep wall sock. Off she comes. You can see how, and it's a bit hard to see when it's not clean. So yeah, you can see there how this is uh this has got this flats on it, but the the pulley has shifted and it's not on the flats anymore. There there's a corner, that's a corner, there's a flat. It's just like 10, 15 degrees kicked around the side. I don't know about this one. Let's have a look at that one. Going. Yeah, that one's even worse, and that one's loose. Right, look, huh? It just spins on the spindle, so that'll be given slip to the belt. The belt can heat up. So that one hasn't been moving too much, and I'm hoping this will fit. This will go on without too much. Yeah, much better. So the spindles are okay. This bit, this bit, they're not perfect, but they're okay. I don't see much difference. That one's a little heavier gauge, but other than that, yeah, 
I think it's fine. All right, that one's straight in the steel bin. Here, we're gonna get this one off. Oh, my small. Ah, yeah, I thought that was gonna be way more trouble. Same again, straight scrap steel. What I will, what I will do is just clean these. It's not exactly tight. Yeah, that one's fine. This one, uh, I reckon that bearings. There's a bit of plate in there. Yeah, so that that may that may in fact be the next thing that we do. Like tap. So that's that shaft. The shaft is okay, right? Is what I'm trying to say is, is that that's, that's not bent, that's tight and what have you. That bearing's okay. Right, it's this bearing here that's no good. This bearing here. And when I shift that bearing with my finger, it's got a bunch of play in it. So that, that is what the problem, the next problem is gonna be. And if you just keep onto this stuff, you know, you'll be fine. So I'll have a chat to them. I'll get that bearing. They'll give me the price. I'll go to John Deere, get the part number, get the size. Then I'll go rest straight around to the bearing shop and get one for half the price, okay? But some stuff you gotta get from John Deere, right? Like this, right? okay? do is be a bit cheeky and see if I can't just rattle that up with the yeah beautiful Spindle, spindle. There's that little spindle there it is. Spindle on. Spindle on. That hard line. Now we come to this problem. Now what I do have, this is a self-tapping M8 bolt. What you'll notice is on the very end, it's kind of a weird shape, right? I reckon that thread in there is poxy. It's a mower deck. I'm not even gonna be bothered with the thread to tap it out, okay? These are like a triangle shape and they'll wind in. So, I'm gonna get pretty aggressive with this thing and wind that bolt in. I reckon it'll be good to go. What I'm gonna do first off is, I'm just gonna put this belt on and have that's the last thing I do up, right? So, where's my little cheat diagram? Here it is. All right, I'll be lost without that thing. I'll be months working out which way it went. So, uh, the one I always try to do first, and I'll probably get this wrong today, is all, but is this one down in here. Cause it's like, it's like under everything, right? So it's that one there, then it goes around this one. So sneak that one through there. All right. Okay, that was fairly tight. Nipped her up. Around this one. All right, now this one gets the back side of that one. So this one gets this that that gets captured up in that groove there. You got this one, you got the spacer, then you got the pulley. Okay, but this goes in behind here. So I just put that down. Put the bell on the inside. Bring that back up the hole. Beautiful. 
one of our nuts. These nuts are the same. Okay, so that's that's going to keep that one in there. Now we come to this one. The little one's a little bit easier. So it, the belt ends up going back down around the main pulley and comes back up and goes around this little one like this. So you can see there where that gets captured. Up in under there. Put our nut on. There we go. So and oh number. We missed it. Keep as you mucking around the video. That has got to be in there first, then on there. Now we can do it up, make sure it's in the locating area. So, this one's got a twist in it. Back, front, back, front, and ends up being, ends up back to the right, the right position. It's gonna bend this out of the way. Get that down between there and the pool. There you go. Put that back into place. Start that off in the thread where I think it might go. And this would be going around the main pulley there like that. Checking everything's working. Get our little press in here. So I'm gonna rattle this, I'm gonna rattle this in part of the way, and then do it behind the rest. That was pretty good. Probably could have used the bolt, but here we are. The other bolt obviously wound out somewhere. Oh that's 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 yeah. I'm surprised if we're not gonna have to make that into M10. So I'll get a couple of M10s next time I'm out and we'll redo these to M10. Okay. But that was the main reason why we threw the belt because that, that was allowed to come out of that gap. Okay. Okay, there you have it. So uh, we're gonna go get two, we'll, we'll get a new M10 nut, we'll blow this out to M10. All right, and we might even weld another on the other side because uh, these, de these decks take a bit of a punishment. We've got two new pulleys, we've got two new bearings. This bearing, top bearing here is dodgy, but we'll do both. They're easy to tap out, tap in a new bearing. Um, and then we'll do that. I'll just get that stuff when I'm in town next, and then that'll be when we get the mower off next to sharpen the blades or something, then we'll, we'll, then we'll do that uh, project as well. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's for today. I've uh, got to get the mowing done. So, hope this helps somebody. If you've got a mower this like this yourself, if you're worried about taking your mower off, you know, you just... Just have a go, they're not that hard, right? And you'll you'll be surprised how much you can save. You get these pulleys and stuff and you get all the little bits and bobs from, from where you get them and then just, just have a go. Okay, happy projecting. I'm gonna go mow the lawn. <laughs>